City Council met today for their first meeting of the new year and discussed a big issue that will impact a certain neighborhood. CBS 7's Alex Valdez was at that City Council meeting and is live in our Midland newsroom with the details. Alex? Jay, the motion to rezone a certain area in District 4 was approved by all seven city council members. Many community members came out and spoke out against the affordable housing, but their city council member, District 4, Lori Blong, voted in favor of the motion. Carl Quito lives with his wife in the area, and he says when he first moved, he never expected to see apartments pop up so close to his house, which is why him and other residents showed up and voiced their opinions during the Midland City Council meeting. The developers and council claim it's an opportunity that allows the city to grow, but some residents worry this project will bring more traffic to the already busy street. Did some improvements on it and put some garages on it. And just done a lot of things to it and we hate to lose it and I don't think we're going to lose it because my wife doesn't want to move and so we're, uh, we're there but it's just going to be not the same. The item was discussed for over an hour will give the Midland Development Corporation the go-ahead to rezone an area and build affordable housing for teachers, nurses and first responders. District 4 Midland City Council member Lori Blong, who represents the district where these apartments would go up, says she hears the concerns of the residents but voted in favor, saying either way someone would have left upset with her vote. And I really do understand their concerns. I'm, I would feel much the same way that they do if this were happening in my backyard, and I understand that. Um, but I also think that Midland has a housing need. But for this Midlander, the American dream of sitting on his porch, drinking sweet tea, and watching wildlife in the area will be far from reality with the addition of the new apartments. The developers and city council are encouraging residents to keep voicing their opinions, saying they want the neighborhood to continue to grow with the help of the people living there already. We want to make a community not just for our residents but the neighbors as well so that they can enjoy walking trails, they can enjoy the dog park. The council members all agree that the project's pros outweigh the cons and that they will do whatever it takes to keep Midland growing responsibly. Reporting from the Midland Newsroom, Alex Valdez, CBS 7 News.